Taylor Mall, who lives with a rare genetic trait known as chimerism. Chimer, chimer, chimerism? It's hard to say. Yes. <laughs> uh, she is her own twin. That's what there you go. it means. And also joining us is Taylor's mom, Sandra, and her doctor, Dr. Brandon Colby, who's a geneticist and founder of sequencing.com. Um, all right. So, Taylor, what does this mean when you want to have children? Um, as far as I've been told, I should be able to carry a baby. You know, the pregnancy hopefully should be normal. But um, it would be interesting once the baby is born, we, I believe, can do some testing to see if I technically would be like the mom or like the aunt, really. So. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Medical mysteries and miracles, <laughs> right? That is not a misnomer. Yeah. That's so, that's, it's fascinating to me. So let me ask you, mom. So th Sandra, you, when you were pregnant with her, did you have any, any idea that you had twins? No. Tw twins do run in our family, but I, there was no, you know, indication of anything like that. Mm -hmm. And like Taylor said, having her a natural birth, you know, I didn't go through the normal testing that one might, so there was. So it's it just the birthmark when you saw her as a baby. It was just like, oh, and she's I got did this everything so perfectly, you know, Mother Earth trying to make her everything right when I was going through the pregnancy. That when when she came out, it was you know Surprise. quite startling. Now you you know, Doc, that everybody out there with a birthmark is now thinking they are their own twin. <laughs> so how do they figure out whether that's true or not? Well, it is so unique what Taylor has that it is almost certain not to be chimerism. It's a very, very rare trait. And it's just, Taylor is one in a million. It occurs so infrequently that I, as a geneticist, I've never actually met another patient other than Taylor who has this trait. Oh, and Taylor, can you tell me what, what, like other than the birthmark? Yes. What, is there anything else? Yeah, there's, there's definitely some weird things. Um, I have a double tooth on my left side, and when I was young, like, the tooth would not stop growing, so the dentist finally had to shave the nerves so they would deaden. Um, I have my belly button pierced, and it's in my sibling's genetic makeup. I can wear any kind of jewelry, like just junk jewelry. I have no problem with that. But my ears, and I used to have a little piercing here, I am so highly allergic. I cannot wear any kind of jewelry outside of white golds or 14 karat golds. Um, I have insect bites on one side of my body that will swell, like almost like baseballs, like allergic, and the other side just little teeny tiny, like the size of a penny. So there are some other very unusual wow. things. Is there any cure for this? There's no cure for it. It's just understanding Taylor as a unique individual, her body, how it responds to different substances, uh, to the environment, and then Taylor learning how to modulate that so that she could live a healthier life. Mm -hmm. Our immune system is always going to be wacky, and Taylor is really good at detecting what sets it off and trying to avoid those substances. Before I let you go, can you explain chi chimera? What's the chimera? What is the chimera? It is um, originally from Greek mythology. It's known as a monster. It has, it's like three animals in one. So it has, I believe it's like the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and I think the tail of a snake. And that's where the term chimera originates I, from. I like it. It makes you sound very exotic. <laughs> what a fun sort of fact. I realize you've been dealing with some issues as a result of it, but yeah. it's a very interesting fact about yourself. Thank and you. thank you for being so open about oh, it. Of course. Thank you so much it's for having me. Way. So grateful. All the best to you. Thank you. Taylor, Sandra, and Dr. Colby. Thank you all so much. We'll be right back. <laughs> 